Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please. Guidance for Scorpio regarding what's coming their way in love. What's coming Scorpio's way in love, spare? What's coming their way in love? Okay, we have yin. Not for you, okay. What is coming their way in love? Community, okay. Oops, what's this? Regeneration, okay. And love. Can we get one more? Why? Okay. Um, Scorpio, I feel like a lot of you are going through some sort of ending that wasn't for you or some sort of situation or partnership that has ended because it wasn't for you. Regeneration is kind of like the death card of this of this um, deck. And Yin is all about being receptive, going with the flow. And I feel like you have to go with the flow with this rejection or ending that has happened. And I feel like some of you are having difficulty because maybe you're questioning why certain things took place why they ended the way they did, why things are, are, you know, have turned, I guess, against you, or like perhaps this wasn't where you thought you were headed, and it's kind of like a surprise. Um, community is here, so I feel like you will have help or assistance, or will be in touch with friends, family, people that can help you at this time, or Spirit is encouraging that you do that. Maybe this will help you find your tribe or find the people that you are meant to be with. What else? First Scorpio. Okay. We have tied up, taking action, love letter, restoring balance, and standing firm. Okay, so we got all the all the cards there. Balancing act. Tied up, taking action, love letter, restoring balance, and standing firm. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you were probably stuck in a situation that you were just never meant to be with in, in, the, in the first place, or perhaps it was a karmic situation. I feel like you, you need to head in a new direction, and this is going to require your participation. And maybe it's difficult for you because you don't understand right now why things happened, but in the future, when you look back, you will. I think this is meant to restore balance. I think things are meant to stabilize for you, but for some reason an ending had to happen um a special message is on its way so hmm, love letter is here so i don't know what's going on uh with this so let's see can we get some insight please for scorpio what is headed their way in love spirit for scorpio what does scorpio need to know about what's coming their way in love so let's see what we get for you scorpio this is the northern animal tarot i have the website linked in the description box okay we have the seven of wands so standing firm is here that's what this card i designed that card based on the seven of wands the star aquarius energy okay so some of you are needing to fight for what you believe in um fight for your own healing fight for a wish perhaps the devil reverse that's that tied up energy here with the death well it's really kind of like the death card or the, the ending capricorn energy so again i feel like a lot of you are becoming unstuck or you're no longer restricted you're no longer tied up and then we have the sun beautiful almost all major arcana so this is like major shifts in energy things that are being you know almost like guided by spirit or meant to happen scorpio um, and Scorpio, you had a reading recently where the title was something like, this had to end. I feel like this is a continuation of that reading. So if this resonates for you, check out that reading. It'll be in your playlist. What's at the bottom of the deck? Aw, the Six of Cups. With the sun? Are you kidding? So this could be um, something beautiful starting for you, Scorpio. Six of Cups is typically a card about good memories the past nostalgia soulmate sometimes it could be childhood innocence you know sweetness 
and the sun is here so the sun obviously good news happiness celebration clarity radiance too so okay so let's see what's going on why the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here for scorpio why is the seven of wands here the moon pisces energy so um hmm you gonna get one more the em emperor more major arcana geez okay aries energy I feel like you have to stand up for yourself or fight against challenges like an emperor. Um, the moon is here, so I feel like you don't really have clarity right now. You just know it's going to be difficult. It's almost like someone has like their guard up, but they don't know exactly what's coming. <laughs> they just know they have to prepare themselves or ready themselves, right? Five of Pentacles is here. So this could be a financial situation or it could be a situation where maybe there's going to be difficulties and you're just kind of like trying to protect yourself. Scorpio, this could also be the, your person's energy that I'm picking up on. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Queen of swords. Oh yeah, this is like the bad bitch of the tarot. Uh, sorry for cussing. I normally don't cuss in my reading, but that's what I heard this is the bad bitch <laughs> so i feel like you do not have to be a female um but i feel like this is your you are you're you're not messing around um you are stepping into queen of swords emperor energy there's like no emotions here in in terms of like emotions do not influence the emperor or the queen of swords at all they don't take them into account if they do feel emotions that's great but that they're not going to base their decisions or their actions on how they feel the queen of swords is someone that will cut anything that stands in their way and the emperor is a fighter he's a warrior uh, he's not afraid of battle so i feel like this is someone that's like preparing themselves for battle Maybe they're getting like clarity or strength from what makes sense. So it's like someone's like, I know what the right thing to do is. I know what the truth is. And I'm arming myself with that. Tell me about the star. Why is the star here? The Queen of Swords is also someone that's been burned in the past. And so they have armor now. They're protecting themselves. They have boundaries. They set boundaries. They don't just take the same old crap that they used to. Tell me about the star. Why is the star here? Wow, the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the star. Hmm... Scorpio, I think you were dealing with someone that was messing with your head. Queen of Cups. Maybe they were manipulating you emotionally, messing around with your emotions. Maybe even gaslighting you. Or making you question reality. Like making you question, like making you feel crazy maybe here. Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. I think this is a situation where someone has a wish, a desire for a new beginning but someone is kind of in the way the moon the seven of swords i feel like this is this could be deception this could be somebody muddy in the waters confusing someone playing games being sneaky so you might be dealing with someone like this scorpio or the person that you are connecting with is dealing with someone like this i i feel like a lot of you are fighting for not fighting for your life but you're fighting for a new beginning that is based on truth and a solid foundation because of what you've experienced. So this is for a Scorpio who perhaps things were off balance, things were toxic, things were unhealthy. <clears throat> the devil is reversed. So that's a good sign. Tell me about the devil reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell me about the devil reverse. Again with the seven of, yeah, this is, 
Five of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, the Seven of Cups is exactly what I was just saying. It's like someone's confused. They're, they're trying to, to stick to what's real. They're trying to stick to what is not an illusion because perhaps someone was stuck in an illusion. Maybe their judgment was blocked. Maybe they don't trust their own judgment, something like that. And now they're focused on clarity, the truth, you know? It's like someone could be wanting to mess with someone's reality and the other person's like, oh, no, 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 that didn't happen that way. It happened this way. Or you're not going to pull the wool over my eyes anymore. You're not going to mess with my, with the truth. You're not going to manipulate this situation. I'm not letting you. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. This could also be someone that's getting whiplash. Um, that's what I heard, whiplash. So it's like they, they say one thing, but then they do another. Or, you know, one day they're very happy and normal. And the other day is like they're crazy again. Something like that. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of messages. So I feel like a lot of you are dealing with someone that's just difficult to deal with, but for a different reason. Because you have to break free of this with the devil reverse. Tell me about the devil reverse. King of Cups and the Six of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you, you're going to do what is right for you. Three of Cups, nine, nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, some of you, your friends are helping you family is helping you um, to be free to have success I think a lot of you know that becoming unstuck or leaving this situation will not be easy and so you're calling assistance um, King of Cups Queen of Cups is here I think you're very emotionally stable or at least very you're dealing with this in an emotional um, in an emotionally mature way um, you're very grounded emotionally, but again, your emotions are not dictating your decisions here. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Six of pentacles. Okay. That's that restoring balance. Tell me about the sun. Some of you are dealing with a person that they cannot accept what's happened. They're maybe coming to you like, why, why, why are things ending? Why are you leaving? Why, why, why? And, and it's like, you, you can't believe they're asking that question. Let me know if that's resonating down in the comments. Um, I feel like this is a very specific reading, but this is the message. I feel like someone is like, why, why, why? But the why, the answer is because it has to be that way. <clears throat> this is how balance is restored this is how someone is uh, receiving what they're meant to receive tell me about the sun tell me about the sun page of wands yeah this is somebody they're headed somewhere new page of wands what else three of cups again that's that community card what else what else with the sun King of Pentacles. And I want one more. Can I get one more for the sun? Queen of Wands. Beautiful. And there's a Seven of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. So this is you, I feel. Or this is the person that's fighting back, standing firm against whatever's coming their way. And I think they're, they're standing firm with help. <clears throat> this is someone that perhaps is, you know, taking into account two energies, King of Pentacles and Queen of Wands, or these are the friends helping them. Um, friends, co-workers, someone, someone's getting like assistance here. Like, I feel like the community is rallying around them. Uh, this is definitely somebody that's headed somewhere new, Page of Wands, taking the initiative, the uh, steps to towards somewhere new. Let's see if we can get a little insight on that. Tell me about the Page of Wands. <clears throat> Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here for Scorpio? Strength. Leo energy. Being strong. Having courage. Tell me about the uh, Page of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands, please. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Fool. Yeah. 
Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is someone headed somewhere new. And it's going to take courage. It's going to take strength because it's going to require a risk. It's going to possibly require starting over. Um, starting new. But the Ten of Cups, I feel, is like what someone's getting. King of Swords after that. It's like this is their happy ending or they're headed towards somewhere that's more happy, more fulfilling, more peaceful. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other... Oops. Hold on. What do we need to know about this other person? This deck is too big for my hands. <laughs> what do we need to know about this other person that Scorpio is dealing with? The Tower Reverse. Okay, what do we need to know about this other person? Five of Cups. What do we need to know about this other person that Scorpio is dealing with? Ace of Swords. Okay. Um, Scorpio, I think this might be some the person that you that that you are from the past. I should say that. I feel like they there's a tower that they don't want to take place, or they're trying to avoid, or they're trying to like not let influence your connection. This person's regretful, lost, disappointed, heartbroken. And I feel like they want to talk about what? Two of Cups. So yeah, this is someone that wants to talk about your connection. King of Cups reverse at the bottom of the deck. Page of Cups reverse. And then the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is someone that's heartbroken and wants to talk. So I feel like this is the person that you no longer are with or you're no longer dealing with or you're there's a disconnect between you with uh, the death card here and the not for you i think this is someone that does not want to let you go tell me about the uh five of cups tell me about the five of cups or perhaps you're having regrets over what's happened between you tell me about the five of cups Two of Wands. Okay, tell me about the Five of Cups. Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Yeah. The Hangman. And then there's Temperance. Knight of Swords again. Nine of Pentacles. I think this is someone that they, they know you're choosing a different path towards a Ten of Cups. And they don't want that. Tell me about the tower reverse. Why is the tower reverse? Why is the tower reverse? Why is the tower reverse? Two of swords. Yeah. Why is the tower reverse? Why is the tower reverse? Why is the tower reverse? Eight of pentacles. Yeah, let's work on things. We have a good partnership going. I feel like this person wants to block this tower. And is doing whatever they can to block it. Now, Scorpio, this might be something you want as well. Maybe you don't want this to end, but something has to end. That's that's kind of like the the problem. <laughs> uh, something is not for you. Yeah, despair. This person is like not not doing well. Something is not for you, and spirit is asking you to let it go. And I feel like it's difficult because maybe you don't want to let it go. Yeah, coffin, death. This needs to happen, Scorpio. I'm sorry. I feel like, uh, you know, that's just the message. Whether it's with different oracle cards or, you know, different decks, whatever it is, the message is the message. Can we get some more insight for Scorpio on this other person, on this situation with this other person? What do we need to know? For Scorpio what do we need to know I feel like this person does not want this ending to take place but I feel like th this is not something that you can prevent this is not something that someone can prevent from happening lizard and the fire ant yeah so this person I feel like um and then the camel <laughs> they're gonna try to be resourceful this person they're gonna think about how they can survive uh, how they can keep this alive, you know, and they might cause problems with fire ant. The lizard is kind of like 
they're retreating to think so like almost think of them as a hermit so i think this is someone that is really trying to rack their brain for how they can make this work for them how they can work on things with you right um but i don't know scorpio i feel like th this connection that existed in the past has to end because you are meant to have something new and you can't have something new with the old it's not how that works you know the fool is here the ace of wands is here right the emperor is here so it's like you're meant to do something you're meant to take charge of your life you're meant to fight back and be strong and have this new beginning so i just don't see how you can have the past and the new together i just don't see it 